Perfect. Um, so I've always been a reader. I've always um, kind of had several books going at once. When I was a kid, I'd have, you know, the book I had to read for school, but then I'd also have a few on my shelves. And I think that's kind of continued on into my adult life. Even now, I am reading a fiction book and then also a non-fiction book. So I, I sometimes like to get lost in different worlds and other times I like to learn about our own world. So the reason I chose this book was because really when I'm picking out a good fiction book, I have to be honest, the cover sometimes has something to do with it, you know? Um, the artist, the way they depict the characters and things like that, it, you know, sometimes draws my interest to the book. But this one had a picture of two boys on the front cover and I used to be a boy. So I guess there's that. Um, fiction books, uh, I really like this way of looking at them. They're either a mirror or a window. I like both. The way that works is, you know, some books are windows into the world that you're not familiar with. You're able to uh, kind of look in on um, either a fantasy world or just a part of our world that, that you're unfamiliar with. Or they're a mirror. You can see yourself um, in the book. You have a shared experience. You've been maybe to the place where the book um, takes place. You know someone who's just like the main character or you yourself are just like the main character. And I found this book to to kind of be both a window and a mirror. There was one boy in the book who kind of reminded me of myself a little bit when I was younger, so that's the mirror. And then the other boy, uh, not so much. It's kind of a, a culture and a world that I'm, that I'm unfamiliar with, so I, I like to learn about that too. So like cut it right here. Probably shouldn't have put my mouth on that. Hold on. Okay. So I chose. No. <laughs> Wait, we can do it. Okay. Nowhere Boy by Catherine Marsh. So this story is about two boys, Ahmed and Max. My absolute favorite thing about it is their relationship, right? So you could read the book, read any book, for a, a lot of reasons. You know, you really enjoy the character or the plot. Something like that. I really enjoyed in this book the relationship between the two boys. It starts, the, the first chapter is, it, it just, it, it's action packed right from the start. A little scary in the beginning also. First boy, Ahmed, fleeing his home country. Now, Catherine Marsh, the author, doesn't go into too much detail about what's wrong in his home country. I know a little bit of research, and I'm sure you can find that out on your own. But he's fleeing there with his family, with his father and uh, several other people on a raft. And it is, it's thrilling, it's, it's, it's exciting, it's also a little sad. And just right there in the second chapter, they introduce you to the second boy. I think what's great, it takes place in Brussels. I think what's great is both characters are unfamiliar with their new home. And so in that, they, they kind of have a shared experience, but the way they got there uh, was drastically different. The, the way they meet, um, it's it pretty funny actually, and, and the way they kind of deal with both of their situations, the way the two of them grow together and learn about each other's cultures is really what, what kept me reading. There's this really great part, and it actually happens a few times throughout the book, where Ahmed, he and his family are almost found out. And that's a scary thing. And Max and his family, uh, I don't want to say too much, they help out, uh, and it's a very exciting uh, way that they do. You're going you're to have to just read the book in order to find out how exactly. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> You've been watching book review shorts from the Oak Street Library. Tune in next week for another book review. Thanks, bye.